Hello everyone. Through this platform, we are going to discuss the course which is titled as Environmental Management System. And to present this course, I would like to introduce myself, Mr. B. C. Ingavle. I am working as Assistant Professor in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at Kolhapur Institute of Technologies, College of Engineering, Kolhapur. This course of Environmental Management System is beneficial for the different environmental professionals which are related with the different industries, factories and other organizations where this environmental management is essential. Now, let us see this objective of this course. This course deals with the implementation of environmental management system as per ISO 14001-2015 standard in the different organizations managing various environmental aspects. So, environmental management system as per ISO 14001-2015 standard it indicates the use of international standard. ISO is one of the well-known organization who prepares these international standards. And it has prepared the standard which is related to environmental management and it is been numbered as ISO 14001. The current version of this standard is being made in year 2015 and hence this standard is known as ISO 14001-2015. So, this course has got these learning objectives. The first objective is to understand the scope of ISO 14001-2015 EMS standard. So, with this we are able to understand the extent of usage of this ISO 14001-2015 standard. Then the second objective, learning objective is to learn the requirements of ISO 14001-2015 implementation of EMS. So, for implementation of environmental management system in any organization, we need to follow the requirements which are given in this ISO 14001-2015 standard. So, these are the course learning objectives. Now, let us begin with the first lesson of this course that is introduction to EMS. The objective which is set for this lesson is to understand the concept of environmental management system. In short form, it is called as EMS. Under this lesson, we are going to cover these subtopics such as concept of environmental management system, then the element of environmental management system and the benefits of environmental management system. Now, let us understand what is meant by this environmental management system. As per US EPA, a web reference, environmental management system is defined as it is a set of processes and practices that enable an organization to reduce its environmental impacts and increase its operating efficiency. So, the practices which are followed in the different organizations, they interact with the environment. As they interact with the environment, they create some impact and the main 
purpose of this environmental management system is to reduce these environmental impacts. So, a several processes, practices and approaches are followed by the organization to reduce these environmental impacts. And of course, it is necessary to maintain or to elevate the efficiency of the operations of that organizations. So, this is a generalized definition of environmental management system. Now, let us see the elements of environmental management system means for any organization, what are the features those are required in order to have environmental management system. In fact, when we consider the organizations, especially the industries which operate in India, they have several practices to be followed in order to have their own environmental management. When we are setting up any industry, initially an environmental clearance is necessary. Environmental clearance is a prior permission taken by the organizations before execution, before actual construction of that industry into the field. So, that is the first level of compliance we can say industry need to obtain that is related to environmental management. In addition to that, industry need to obtain the consents. Consents are nothing but the permits, permits for the establishment of that organization, establishment of that industry and then permit is necessary for operation of that industry. Once these are obtained, consequently several conditions are given under these consent to operate and in this consent to operate several requirements are given which are to be followed by that industry. So, these requirements include the limitations on consumption of natural resources like raw material for the industry, water consumption for that industry as well as the standards or limits are given for wastewater generation, its characteristics, the air pollution parameters, solid waste generation, hazardous waste generation and so on. So, in consent to operate, the different conditions are given which are applicable to the industry. So, for implementing or to fulfilling these requirements at the industry, industry need to have a particular department, a designated manpower which will complete all these compliance requirements. So, we can say if industry is providing such a department with such manpower and when they are fulfilling all these requirements, we are able to say that that industry has got environmental management system. So, in general the environmental management system is related to the pollution control measures. When we think of environmental management through industries, initially our focus is directed for the pollution control measures. Pollution control measures consist of provision of effluent treatment plant that is or sewage treatment plant. Both are these are the wastewater treatment plants. Then we require air pollution control equipments, we require solid waste management plan, we require hazardous waste management plan. So, all these come under these pollution control measures. Also, as I said, with reference to these permits or consent to operate, there are limitations on the resources consumption because 
more the resource consumption takes place, more are the waste generated. So, the consumption of resources is also required to be limited so as to reduce the pollution potential of that industry. Complying with the regulatory requirements is an essential requirement. It is a mandate for the industries to comply with environmental regulatory requirements which are given in this consent to operate, consent to establish and any other communication which takes place from the pollution control authorities. So, these are the general things which are carried out by any industry. In order to enhance the performance of that industry with reference to environmental management, they can adopt some best practices Ap apart from these regular approaches of pollution control measures, consumption of resources, environmental regulatory requirements, they can have these approaches for enhancing the environmental performance of that organization. And hence, together of all of this, an organization can have environmental management system. Now, let us see why environmental management system is essential for an organization. When an organization implements this environmental management system, what are the benefits gained by that industry? So, the first benefit is it has improved environmental performance. When we are saying environmental management system that gets implemented, it gives a framework, it gives the approach with which an industry is able to enhance the current environmental performance and hence improvement in environmental performance can be obtained. The basic requirement of any environmental management system is to have the legal compliance. Whatever regulatory requirements are given with reference to environmental management, these can be complied very well with the help of this environmental management system. So, that is the second benefit we are able to get. Then third is the pollution prevention. A lot of approaches we are able to get through the implementation of environmental management system and we are able to prevent the pollution from many of the activities. So, such approaches can be used in order to avoid the pollution. Then, under these best practices, we are able to conserve the different resources consumed by that organization. So, resource conservation, minimization of waste generation, optimizations into the operations, together they lead to increase in efficiency of that organization. So, that is another benefit gained by the organization. Then, with the implementation of environmental management system and communicating this information with all the interested parties of the organization such as customers, partners, regulatory authorities. When such communication takes place about the environmental management system, the there is an advantage for that organization that they gain the enhanced image. The reputation of that organization into the market gets enhanced and that avails the benefit of reaching to the new customers, especially into the international markets and maintaining the position into the market. Also, it helps 
to create awareness among the people who are working with the organization they come to know their responsibility towards environmental management as well as it also creates the awareness among the other interested parties like customers partners and other organizations so together with this environmental management system an organization is able to achieve these benefits so these were the topics for the lesson number 1 we will continue the next lesson in the next session till then have a very good day to all of you thank you very much